Uh, I'm Rob Perks, curator of oral history at the British Library. I also look after National Life Stories, which is um, the main fieldwork activity for oral history within the British Library. So I'm looking after spoken word recordings dating back to the end of the 19th century and also collecting actively interviews with older people and a whole range of different activities around the UK with a, a big team of interviewers. So we're uh, collecting material with um, scientists, life stories of scientists, artists within the creative industries generally, but also looking after deposited collections from researchers and um, PhD students up and down the UK, making those available at the British Library. Uh, we've got two very large collections, which I think will be of particular interest to um, social scientists, um, one of which is underway at the moment with the BBC called The Listening Project, which is gathering um, impromptu uh, recordings between family members reflecting on um, subjects of interest to them. And looking back 10 years, we've got the Millennium Memory Bank collection, which is 5,500 interviews recorded by BBC Local Radio at the time of the millennium. Um, on 16 themes, an uh, incredibly rich collection of material to a whole range of different researchers about every aspect of life, looking back over the 20th century. The oral history collection fit um, into the sound archive collections at the library more generally, and there's lots of other material elsewhere that other curators in the library look after, ethnographic music material, um, pop music collections, wildlife collections, uh, drama and literature collections and lots of interview material in and amongst this which relates in some ways to people's life stories and certainly the way in which people live their, their lives in the UK. Plus, of course, lots of historic recordings going back to the uh, 19th century. And um, it's a large collection, three and a half million items and uh, lots of different formats and very actively being added to all the time. And partly it's being added to by researchers um, and academics conducting their own interviews. And one of the things that we are able to offer, which I think is unusual in the library, is a series of training uh, sessions with people wanting to use the interview methodology. So uh, in conjunction with the Oral History Society, the British Library runs a whole rolling programme of introductory training and more advanced training, say, to people who want to use video in their uh, research as well as oral history. And this has been a great way in which we've partnered with community projects and um, HE projects to grow the collections at the British Library above and beyond the rich collections that we already have.